My name is Tom Grusendorf. I'm a DCS specialist with AutoPro Automation in Calgary. Today I'm talking about some of the keys to a successful control system migration. The first key to a successful migration is a solid understanding of both your existing control system and the control system that you're migrating to. If you don't have a solid understanding of your existing control system and the nuances and idiosyncrasies that it contains, there's a good chance that you're not going to be successful migrating those things to your new control system. They could be things uh, related to the input and, uh, and output channels, they could be things related to the function blocks or the way that certain functions work in your existing control system, but a solid understanding of those is necessary if you're going to migrate those successfully to your new control system. A second key is your documentation. As plants are operating, your documentation is often not kept up to date. Your control narratives and your shutdown keys especially tend to get out of date. During the migration is a really good opportunity to bring those documents up to date, redline them, use them for your migration, and then at the end of the project you've got completed configuration on your new system and you've got up-to-date documentation. A third key to successful control system migration is looking for opportunities to improve the system. Chances are you're not replacing your control system just because you want to. There's something in your legacy control system that is forcing you to upgrade, whether it's lack of support or lack of available parts. But in the end, if you just migrate your control system directly, you haven't really added any benefit. Some of the things that you could do during a migration to add additional benefit you could improve your operator graphics. During a migration, you're likely rebuilding your graphics anyway, so here's a good chance to further enhance your graphics to make them more useful to an operator. If your alarm system is suffering and uh, less than effective, now is also an opportunity to perform an alarm rationalization and implement results in your new control system. These are three things to consider as you're performing your migration. Hopefully if you keep these in mind, it will help you have a successful control system migration.